Hi guys, this is Amish Azad, a safety professional. Today we are having a very important topic, which is uh, interview questions and answers, specially driven from Aramco. I had took this paper from Aramco's website. Today we will discuss this paper. These questions and answers are very important if you are going anywhere for a job in UAE, Qatar, or Saudi Arabia, and this is also very helpful for for our day to day. Uh, interview questions and answers as we know that Aramco is one of the renowned company so these questions are somewhat asked in every kind of interview question and answers as you can see over here these are the papers so i'll discuss this paper one by one if you want to know more details about the question you can pause or you can see in the description i will copy paste all these questions in the description as well so now i will just give you a overview what were the questions and what are the answers of these questions so stay tuned with us before moving forward i would like to request you guys to do like share and subscribe our channel so let's move towards our paper as you can see in the paper the very first question is regarding the pp's required for doing a grinder job so as we all know that pp's required for those are the safety glasses face shields and the combination of the face shield and the safety glasses okay in question number 2 question number 2 is asking about the voltages for portable electrical tools which is as you can see is 110 volt number 3 is asking about if we have to store uh, some flammable material uh, like kerosene oil or the diesel so how much perimeter we have to make it free so it is 50 feet the question number 4 is about the uh, vertical to horizontal spacing between the straight ladders uh, which is mostly used in the scaffolding as well so it would be 4 ratio 1 like if we are having 10 feet of the height so it would be 1 uh, feet away from the wall so it will make it uh, 75 degree angle so question number 5 again is regarding the ladder whenever we are placing a ladder somewhere so it should be above the roof if this is the roof so ladder should be little bit above so he is asking how much it should be above it is 0.9 meter or roughly you can say at least two rungs above the roof so guys let's jump towards the question number 6 question number 6 is particularly regarding the aramco procedures it is asking about the uh, procedure number for the permit to work that is gi 2.100 that is not a generic question it's specific to the aramco question number 7 is regarding the incident investigation so whenever there happens any kind of injury so this is uh, followed globally like whenever there is any kind of injury it should be reported within 24 hours okay question number 8 is again regarding the scaffolding it is that when we should be having the tow board guard railing system on the platform it is when it uh, moves 6 feet above the ground level uh question number 9 is about this excavation so whenever we uh, do excavation there is some extra material that is known as spoils so spoils should be placed at least 2 feet away from the excavation okay question number 10 and 11 are regarding the oxygen and acetylene cylinder so when we are using we are doing gas welding they are asking what should be the pressure in acetylene cylinder that is kept 15 psi for the safety purposes uh question number 11 they are asking that when we are placing uh, oxygen and acetylene cylinder how far they should be from each other so it should be either they should be having fire resistant wall or otherwise they should be at least kept 50 feet from each other okay now jumping towards the question number 12 question number 12 is regarding the a class of fire as we know there are different classes of fire so they are particularly asking what are the a class of fire uh, for knowing more about the classes of fire you can hit the link on the top you can know more about the classes of fire here the a type class is just the one which is having just ordinary combustible material question number 13 is regarding the again about the excavation they are asking about the least stable uh, soil type that is c type soil 14 and 15 are regarding the work at height so in question number 14 they are asking if someone is working on a beam like if we have to work on a beam above 6 feet height what we should be having we should be having a 
harness belt anchored with a specific anchorage point question number 15 they are asking that if we are working on any kind of roof which is having a capacity of falling we should be having a barricade or railing around it that should be having a capacity of at least uh, bearing 200 pounds or it could be 91 kg question number 16 and 17 are regarding the lifting so in question number 16 they are asking about the which factors does not affect the load capacity of the crane as we know that boom length and boom angle heavily affect the lifting capacity as the length of boom increase its capacity decreases so only option we are having over here is anti two block device we are having an other uh, detailed session regarding the crane activities so you can hit the link over here so next is whenever we are using a rope or a hoist we used to couple it with the clips so how many clips are required on the live end of the wire so these are four u bolts moving towards our next question our next question is regarding the permit to work so they are asking that permit to work uh, last how long it is usually taken for one shift uh, next question is that if we are having a long excavation so we have to have place different access ladders in the excavation so in case of emergency a person can climb easily so they are asking that how far apart two ladders should be that is 25 feet uh, question number 21 is regarding the shifting of flammable material so if we have to shift a flammable material from a bigger container to a smaller container we should what we should be doing so in this we should require a grounding of a bigger container and then we should attach that bigger container to the smaller container so to uh, in order to avoid any kind of flame last but not the least we are having a question regarding the emergency procedures and regarding the crane like if any crane hits the electrical wires which are live what should we do so in case of such kind of emergency we should stay in the crane until the external uh, until the external help reaches over here thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope that this video will be helping you in the interview if you are having any other questions in your mind do let us know in the comments if you required a pdf of these questions just email me your email address or just send me your email address in the comments i will email you these questions so i hope that this would be very fruitful for you uh, it's my request do like share and subscribe my video thank you very much this is amish adal